<laughs> All right, welcome to our video on density. It's uh, 3.4, the last section in Chapter 3. So, yeah, we're going to learn how to determine density, but first we really have to think about what is density. And it's the ratio of the mass of an object to its volume. So they're going to be related to each other, the mass and volume. And, and a very important thing to remember is it's an intensive property that depends on the composition of the substance, not its size. So if I have a block of wood, a block of wood, right? And I cut this block in half. Each half will have the same density as the whole block. If I cut it in quarters, each quarter would have the same density of each half and have the same density of the whole block. Here, if I cut off a little piece, this little piece would have the same density as the rest of the block because it's a property. Doesn't matter what size we cut it into because it depends on the composition. Now, by now, everybody should hopefully know the formula for density, but it's D equals M over V. And there are going to be times when you're given the mass, and the volume and you have to calculate the density. There'll be times where you're given the density and volume and you have to calculate the mass. There'll be times when you have to calculate the volume based on the having the density and the mass. So a couple of other ways to write this formula. M equals dV. It's the same thing as we multiplied each side by V. And we can also say V equals M over D. Same as if we had cross multiplied it. Boom. That goes there, and that goes there, and you get V equals M over D. So you might have to use any one, three. All right, so let, let's do a practice problem here. So let's say you have a 10 cubic centimeter piece of lead, which has a volume of 114 grams. What is its density? All right, so here's what I'm going to want you to do every single time you do these. I'm going to want you to show all your work. Otherwise, you'll get no points for it. All right, so we're going to say, write down the formula first, D equals M over V. Then we're going to write over here what we knew. All right, we know that the mass is equal to 10, I'm sorry, 114 grams, 114 G. The volume is equal to 10.0 cubic centimeters, and I'm writing it with the units. And now I just plug and chug. So M, my mass, so I write 114G, number N. My volume is 10.0 cubic centimeters, 10.0 centimeter cube, cubic centimeters, same deal. And now first I'll do the number part of my answer. 114 divided by 10.0 is 11.4. Let's see, I have one, two, three sig figs, one, two, three sig figs. So my answer is one, two, three sig figs. Good. And my units are all here for me, so I can't forget them. Grams per cubic centimeter. So the density of this piece of lead is 11.4 grams per cubic centimeter. All right, so density generally decreases as temperature increases. What does that mean? Well, as you heat something up, the molecules move faster and farther apart. What does that mean? So let's say we have a substance here, right? And there's the molecules and they're packed in yay tightly. Okay. And we're going to apply some heat. Well, what's going to happen is this. Those molecules will move faster, but they'll spread apart a little bit. Okay? And since density has to do with how tightly packed they are, more tightly packed, more dense, less tightly packed, less dense. Okay? So that's why density decreases as temp increases so it goes down as temp goes up so then what do you think is going to happen as the temperature decreases well it's, it's going backwards 
as temperature decreases, the density will go up. All right, so let's do a couple of practice problems. All right, so a bar of silver has a mass of 68.0 grams and a volume of 6.48 cubic centimeters. What is its density? All right, try it on your own. You know, hit pause, try it on your own, and then come back and check and see how you did. All right, let's see how you did. So first thing we do is what? Write the formula, D equals M over V. And we're going to write down what we know. M equals 6.48 cubic centimeters. Volume is... I got it backwards. Make my life easy. This is my volume. This is my mass. Equals 68.0 grams. Don't forget the units. The volume is 6.4. Uh, let's go, computer. There we go. 6.48 cm cubed. That's better. Equals 68 divided by 6.48. Plug that into my calculator. And I'm going to get 10.4938. All right, let's see. One, two, three sig figs. One, two, three sig figs. So my answer can have three. So I'm going to get 10 point. I'll round this to a five. And what's my unit? Well, I have it written here, so I don't have to memorize anything. Gram per cubic centimeter. Ha <laughs> ha. Bingo. Okay. Now here. Convert 14.8 grams of boron to cubic centimeters. Its density is 2.34 gram per cubic centimeter. All right, so cubic centimeter is what? All right, volume. So I have to calculate the volume. Well, I know the mass, and I know the density. All right, so if I have the formula D equals M over... D equals M over V. I wish this pen erased. Holy cow. There we go. D equals M over V. Right. Well, I want the volume. So I got to get the volume up at the top. So if I do a little cross multiplication deal here, okay, I'll end up with V equals M over D. Well, I know a mass. I know a density. And what I want to calculate is my volume. Excellent. So my mass is 14.8 grams. My density is 2.34. Now I'm going to, instead of writing down here grams over cubic centimeters, I can do a little doodad here where I say grams over cubic centimeters. Because when something's on the bottom, the units flip. So when it's in the denominator, instead of writing grams per cubic centimeters here. I could do grams and cubic centimeters on the top. I'll see my grams cancel, and I'm left with just cubic centimeters, and cubic centimeters is a unit of volume. So happy, happy, happy. And I'll do my math plug into my calculator, 14.8 divided by 2.34, and that is going to give me, with the correct number of sig figs, 6.32 cubic centimeters all right all right so that's enough for this video uh we're going to be practicing a whole bunch of more of these in class and you guys are going to get to be experts all right see you in school